Welcome to it. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express only on SABC3. Time to take a bit of a tech turn this morning. Now, if you cannot afford a security system or all of the equipment to keep your home safe, you can get some pretty smart gadgets as a temporary fix or to bolster existing security measures. So here to tell us more about these tools is our very own tech head and game designer, Chitsi Chumya, brother. How are you doing, brother? Yourself. Cool, 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 man. Uh, okay, so this is cool. We know that, uh, you know, when security measures, it's, it's, it's very, very needed, but it's also very expensive. And yeah, not yeah, a lot yeah, of people yeah. can actually afford to have the full gear, you know. But yeah. uh, there's a couple of tech things that I'm really talking about. Let's talk about some of them. The firstly, the fake TV, man. Yeah. So the fake TV, it, it keeps <laughs> a smile on his face. <laughs> so basically, it mimics the the the, the light of the t television, and then it the 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 the, the scene transition. It, it mimics the scene transition. So someone coming from outside will look at the the, the oh, windows yeah. and and think that someone inside is watching, watching the TV, and hopefully it will it will scare them from trying to like break into your house. Okay, all right, <laughs> very interesting. Uh, um, the make believe dog. Yeah. The make Secure believe. dog, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> so basically it has uh, sensors outside your house and then once it detects mo movement on the sensors, then there's a there's a speaker that plays like a dog, real sounding dog box. And, and I'm then, sure it's loud. Yeah, because obviously well. like a lot of criminals are kind of scared of dogs. Uh, Hopefully they yeah. like dogs. Yeah. Absolutely, but right. I can just imagine for the occupants in the house, you will have the fright of your life. Yeah. <laughs> every time that thing goes off. Yeah. <laughs> and some of the more sophisticated ones, like once the bark the barking starts, the lights go on. So it, it like, oh, so oof. while you're away, it seems like someone just got just got up and then switched on the lights and so it's imagine kind of the just a little squirrel running over the lawn, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then the last one we're talking about, um, the home sitter moonlight. Yeah. So the home sitter moonlight mimics uh, the way you'd switch on and off your lights okay. while you're away. So it'll it it'll like you it's a predetermined uh, pattern, and then what what you do is that at a certain time it'll switch on the lights, and then at a certain time it'll switch them off, and it'll keep your house well lit while you're away. I think that's pretty that's pretty interesting. I th I love that. You know, yeah. take a look, especially you know mimicking that natural movement in the house. Yeah. Uh, I can definitely see something like that working. All right, well, yeah. three three interesting gadgets, yeah. man. Yeah, uh, weird ones at that. Some of them yeah, as well. Yeah, they're quite ex <laughs> they're quite affordable. <laughs> there we go. Tizi, yeah. thank you so much for joining us, man. There we have it on the tech front and security. Gotta love it. But um, let's continue now with those Friday feels. Now, films. We love films, and they really have the ability to draw us into you know their world. And what better way to experience full immersion than with virtual reality at this year's Encounters Film Festival? Graham's got more. 